Okay, we were given a task by our tutors to modify a garment. Um, I'd originally planned to utilise some work where I'd, uh, from a project that I had done previously called The Life of a Garment, in which I wrote a poem about how so many of us buy items of clothing with without anywhere to really go and wear it. Um, I bought a misguided bohemian-style hippie dress. It was really floaty, flayed sleeves, um, and I loved it, but I never really got to wear it beyond my garden. I think I've worn it for the task, and I wore it one, one time out the garden with my children playing in the summer because it was cool um, and airy. But... I was walking with my friend and my my little boy, Claire, and there was broken glass on the floor. And my hairdresser, who was with us, asked my little boy to be careful, and then it kind of grew from that, the broken glass. I It made me realise how fragile we all are mentally and how much we focus on vanity, um, to the point where people are going to extreme lengths to look a certain way. I'm not immune to vanity. I'm a very vain person at times, although it doesn't always look that way. I can be very vain. Um, when I started reaching my middle age, I went and had my lips done. I don't know why, because there's nothing wrong with my lips. I see that now. Um... But I went and had it done for my cousin, who was doing an assessment to become a qualified beauty aesthetics practitioner. I had a really bad experience from that. I have lupus. I'm allergic to lots of things as a result of my lupus. It turns out I'm also allergic to lip fillers. I had a bad allergic reaction and I spent a long time on antihistamines waiting for the feeling to come back in my lips and the tip of my nose. Um, they felt numb, like I'd been to the dentist. And so this is where my collection sort of stems from. It's just behind me here. You can see I have upcycled two bras, one sports bra style, a lacy style sports bra and one bralette. I made a dress from broken discs. I used the discs because I thought it would be less bad luck than breaking up mirrors for this task. I have also made a cape. I've made accessories like the show that we're prisoners to the mirror. I've also done a dress called The Works which shows how you cut for surgery. This is called the filler queen, and it has epaulets that are embellished with hydro hypodermic needles. It comes with a crown and a pair of sunglasses. There's also a pair of sunglasses there. Here's the another item of clothing. I wanted to give women armour and make them strong. And I wanted want to send the message that though we're fragile, we are strong and we can we we can love ourselves for who we are. This is another item I made. It's a tummy tech top. I've dim I've glued fake diamonds onto the razor blades on the front detail to sort of communicate how we glamorise going under the knife and how it's seen as, oh, that's so lucky and it's so good and what have you. And here I have a vajazzle and this, this pair of trousers is all about cosmetic surgery. The design of vagina, the vajazzles became a craze a few years ago. Anal bleaching. <laughs> um, I understand that my collection is not the sort of fashion most people want to wear. I banged my head on the car door. It's not really fashion that most people would wear out and about. But that's not the purpose of this collection of clothing. This, the purpose of this collection is to communicate that we need to be learning to love ourselves and it starts 
with all of us from a young age, we all need to be learning to love ourselves in spite of our flaws. You know, for me, it was a really important collection and it was important that I did it. I suffered in front of my mirror for years and years. I have gone to extreme lengths to stay thin. Amphetamine addiction, cocaine addiction, heroin addiction. You know, I, I, I genuinely would binge on speed and cocaine in order to get back down to a size that I felt was appropriate for myself. I've got three years today. It's three years sober for me. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol. I haven't touched heroin. I haven't taken any Class A drugs. Um, and a lot of that is because I learned to love myself and learned to love my natural body, my curves, in spite of my wobbly bits and my stretch marks and scars. A lot of the time, surgery is seen as a quick fix to make us feel better about ourselves. And for some people, it can be. But I feel that it's gone so far beyond that. People see surgery as a quick fix every day on Instagram. We see people making it look so glamorous to go under the knife. And I have a goddaughter who's 21. She's had a, had a little bit of work done and I know that she would like to have more. And she's beautiful. She doesn't need it. It's just it's so sad and she's not alone. When I was young, it was generally older women who went under the knife and had surgeries and procedures done to make them look more youthful. And it seems that now it's, it's a trend amongst young women who are like 16 and between, well, any age from 16 and up, really. They're all going for fillers. They're all wanting their boobs done. They all want contouring. They, you know. The scariest part for me is that people die from these surgeries. You know, the Brazilian bum job, which I've embellished some discs which will be gl glued onto a clip and then fastened to the back pocket of my leather trousers just down by there. And some knee pads. Because the, the, there is such a thing as a knee lift now. I also made a, a little bodice of armour and I embellished it with broken discs to mimic the broken mirror again. These items are an invitation to reflect on your reflection and learn to love yourself. As you are, I'm not against plastic surgery, but I feel there needs to be responsible plastic surgery. There need to be tighter restrictions on fillers. There's a stream of people who all look the same because it's fashionable to have your eyebrows tattooed on and your lips inflated. You know, I had a, a half a mil when I went to have my lips done and my lips felt disgusting. I don't know how people are coping to go and get these things topped up. I know there are some people who've spent £3,000 on their lips. You know, it's insane. And there's nothing wrong with just having normal lips. You know, I this look is... It, people look weird. But this is what my collection's about. There are crowns. I know it was meant to be one garment, but it kind of grew legs and got away from me. And I love capes. You can see I'm no fashion person. I like capes. <laughs> I like epaulets and feathers. And I love accessories. I had a lot of fun doing this task, even though it was a serious topic. And I'm actually quite proud of what I've managed to achieve in my vision. Um, I got a lot from doing it. And I hope you guys like it. <laughs>